Hi, uh, today we'll be doing a code in JavaFX. Uh, we'll be demonstrating the use of binding a property. So we're going to bind a circle to the uh, to the width and height property of the screen of the scene. So uh, we'll start by importing these statements. You can pause the video and copy them. I already tried to make this video. But I, I left something out, so I thought I'd just make it again. Uh, so we'll start with uh, the writing the class. So we'll just say public class main extends application. Then we'll create the private stage, primary stage. We'll create the start method. Public void start takes a stage primary stage. Say this dot primary stage equals to primary stage. So then we'll say a uh, uh, group. We'll create a group. So we can just say group, we'll call it root. It's because it's a root node, so we'll say group root equals new group. No parameters for now. Then we'll say scene. Scene equals to new scene. We'll pass in root and we'll put the dimensions of the scene. Just say like 450 by 400. And we'll say, whoops. Uh, color dot cyan so then we'll create a circle circle we'll call it center circle equals new circle I think it takes the radius we'll set that to seven I'm not, I, I forgot the exact parameter but you can search on the internet for circle JavaFX Oracle Docs then look in the API and you'll find the constructor for circle or there, there there's probably many constructors look for the one that only takes one parameter because they're overloaded constructors then we'll say center circle uh, circle center circle equals new circle then center circle whoops center circle dot center x property bind it with so dot bind to scene dot with property and it's not going to be the exact scene it's going to be that divided by two so keep it we're trying to keep it at the center of the screen so the center x property I believe it's the x coordinate of the circle. But again, you can double check that on the circle uh, class on the Oracle Docs. I can't pull it up because I only have a game recorder, so you won't be able to see it. Actually, I technically I could pull it up right now, but the camera might stop. Uh, yeah, so that's okay. I won't, but just search it up. But I think. It's the center, it's the X coordinate of the of the X axis, something like that. So then we'll say, I did go over it in the notes, I think, but we'll just say uh, center circle dot center Y property. Actually, I can just try to look it up. Hopefully the camera doesn't stop. Okay, it hasn't stopped yet. So we'll just say, uh, I don't think you can see this. So circle uh, JavaFX Oracle Docs should come up. Yeah, here we go. Uh, center X. So center X, the property center, the double. So it's a double property. It, the type is double property. The description is 
Center X defines the horizontal position of the cent center of the circle in pixels. Yeah, so it's the, so I'll just copy this stuff. Anything else? Uh, yeah, so circle takes a radius, that's the parameter. So why don't I just copy this and put it at the bottom? Yeah, it didn't paste it properly. Uh, great. So let me copy this. Control comment that. Move this back. Uh, put a space here. Put a space here. And then we'll just get that other thing, the radius for the constructor. So, uh, I'll just get an example of three of them. There's four of them. Actually, we'll might as well just get all of them since we're here. And anything else we need? Okay, we'll just paste these first. Uh, we'll paste those. Control comment that. Uh, so that's the first constructor. That's the second one. That's the third one. I think there's only four. Oh no, there's five. Oh no, there's only four. No, there is five. Yeah, four. Is there five? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is five. <laughs> so there's a, bu there's a bunch of methods. Uh, so again, center X, it says we already got the, there's more of a, there's more details of it. I, I do, I would recommend here, I'll just get the link. I'll close that. I recommend going to this uh, for all the stuff that we do. Just have a look at the classes. It helps you learn. That's how I learned too when I was learning it. Like I'm always learning more and getting better, but when I first started learning, that's how I learned. So just go to those API docs. For every programming language, the API docs really help. You understand it, especially if you can read the generic types, which we've gone over. So it'll help you. But basically we're using the constructor we're using. So here are the constructors. So these, this is just a description of the properties. But I'll just... Uh, Put some in there too, to space it out. But these uh, just describe the property, so double property, uh, center x. So we use center x property right here. Uh, it actually didn't give us the exact thing, but... So dot center x property. Uh, I might have to go back to that website for a sec, actually, just to see where that exact method is. Uh, center X, center X, dot center, where's C, center, control F, center X property, dot center, yeah, here we go, method summary, center X property. Okay, so there's uh, something a little different, so that just describes it. Here's the actual method. So center, public final, double property, that's the type again. So it's like a, think of property like, so there's an int, right? Then there's the integer wrapper class with capital I. So primitive int, so just int, then there's integer and then there's double property or integer property. So it's just think of it like a third data type. So this is like a type, right? So you could have like, technically we could have just said int or we could have said integer. So it's basically like a third type, data type. So public final, or I guess double in this case, but public final double property, center X property. So what center X property is, 
is that it defines the horizontal position of the center of the circle in pixels. So pretty much we can just write the opposite so we can say for y so we can say public final double property whoops I'll just type it again double property did I spell it right and then uh, cent so it's center y property so it defines the vertical position of the center of the circle in pixels I'm pretty sure that's what it says but I can just double check so that should be it I'll save that actually well, I won't save it so here's what it is public final double property center y property defines the vertical position of the center of the circle in pixels yeah exactly the same so they're just they're pretty much opposites x and y right the, you have an axis x goes up and down and y goes left and right the origin is in the top left center of the screen in java so now we know what center x and center y is we can go back to the code So we'll just say center circle. Actually, we don't really need this. Then. Or we, actually, we could just move it back. No, it's not going to let us. So we'll say center circle dot. So you already did this one. So bind the center of the x coordinate. Again, we'll just have a look. The x coordinate, the the horizontal position of the x. So the horizontal position of the center of the circle in pixels which is the x-coordinate, right? So the x-coordinate of the center of the circle in pixels, basically the horizontal coordinate, bind it that with the scene dot width property. So the scene dot width property is just the width of the scene, right? And divide it by two. So this is the width, uh, width and height, or height and width. I think it's this one. So it's going to divide that by 2 and put the circle right in the center of the screen. Same with this, divide the length by 2 and put the circle center in the screen. X and Y, right? So X, 450 wide and 400 width, uh, long length, I believe. Uh, so yeah, it's going to cut those in two and place that circle right in the middle at startup. So when we resize the screen, it's going to automatically keep that circle there. So we'll say center y property dot bind it with the scene dot height property. I spell that right property and divide it by two. Same thing. Then we'll say string property width equals new simple string property and we'll just it's basically just a string right then we'll say width then we'll say string property height equals new simple string property then we'll put height here Then we'll create a, a text object. So we'll say text with text str for string for short equal to new text. Then we'll set it to the coordinate in pixels 21, 31, and just it's just an empty string there. So that's what the string is supposed to be. But right now it's just empty. It's just a space right now, technically. We shouldn't even put a space, but we can just to just to say it's uh, just empty right now so then we'll say with whoops with text str equals to whoops no with with text str 
dot text property. So text has a has a property called text property, which is just that string right there. Bind it with with doc and cat. Bind it with, and then so bind it so not bind it with bind it to, and then concat that to the scene dot width property. So bind it to, and then so bind it to the width property, and then concat that. Scene dot height property. So what it is doing is. We're saying with text string, the text property, which is that, bind it to the height property, right? But concat it, concat it to the height property. So concat, it's basically just going to put that height property, the numbers of the actual dimensions of the screen, in there. It's kind of a tricky line. Then we'll say text height text str equals new text. We'll just say the similar coordinates, but just a bit lower. 21, 61, and an empty space again. So this is going to track the height of the, the window. Then we'll bind it again. So we'll say height text str dot text property. So we'll call the text property of the text. Bind it to the height dot concat. So concat. So it's kind of hard to say it that way. So we'll say height text string dot text property. Bind that to the scene dot height property and concat it, basically. See, this is a number, right? Text property. Oh no, it's not a number, it's a string. And then take this string from the height and concat them. So basically you're putting this empty thing plus this, which is a number. There's probably better ways, easier ways to do this. Actually, we do talk about an easier way to do this. In the next code, we do the exact same thing with a change listener. But this way seems, it's a bit, uh, so it's kind of like when you take input from a text file and you concat it to the next line. It's like there's better ways to do it, like you can just use a buffered reader or something. It's kind of like that. But we can uh, just continue here. So then we'll say root dot get children dot add all uh, center circle because that's a node. Then the text with text str that's a text node. Then height text str. So it's basically just two text objects and our circle are the three nodes that are going to go into the root node root node is here, right? Then we've added that root already to the top. We probably could have done this at the bottom, which I usually do. I think it should work that way. It's when you just put the scene at the end, you create the scene at the end. Or even you create the group at the end. We can try it after. We'll just put a space here so we remember. But it, it works out easier that way because it's kind of weird, like we've created a group here. We put it in the scene already, but the notes haven't been added yet till here. I usually do it the other way. So then here we can say primary stage dot set title. Why is there a space there? Primary sp stage dot set title. We'll just say bind circle, and we'll say primary stage dot set scene, we'll pass in scene, then primary stage dot set, no, dot show to display the window. Save that. 
and under here, where's our thing even end? Cool. Move these up here. Just because it's all the way down there. So underneath this method, we'll create another one. Public void. So yeah, public void static. No, whoops, publics. Static void main string array args. What's happening with these? Uh, so then we'll say launch. We'll call launch and then pass in args. So we'll call the launch method and then pass in the args array. Save it and run it. And again, you can't see it on mine. You can't see my window. Because I only have a game recorder, but you should see a window pop up on your screen. And it's going to say bind circle. Well, now we changed the spelling, but it's going to say bind circle at the top. You can minimize, maximize, and close it. And when you resize the window, the circle should stay right at the center. For a sec, it might look like it's kind of resizing, depending on your operating system. Uh, but it should uh, stay in the center, and you can see the text properties of that text object as the width and height. They're in the top left corner of the screen. So again, one's 21 and 31 pixels, 21 across and 31 pixels down, and the other one's 21 pixels and 61 pixels down. 21 pixels across to the right and 61 pixels down from the origin. That's where the two text objects are. And the circle is placed, uh, so the circle has a radius of seven pixels and we placed it, did we say where we placed the circle? I thought we did. Okay, yeah, so this is how this is how we know where the circle is placed. So the dimensions of the screen is width 450. Let me just close this so I can uh, just see which one's 450 again. I think it's X and Y, right? So it should be width and height. Width here and then height. Well, I'll just do, I'll just change one to 700 just to see uh, which one it is exactly. I think it was X, X and Y. Yeah, it is X and Y. So we'll just go back to like 500. Okay, we'll just go back to 470, 450, whatever. Run it. So that this is how we know. So the way we know that how where the circle's placed is at 450 width divided by two. So it's going to be at, uh, what's that, 225 pixels, right? No. Uh, so it's going to be, it's going to be 225 across, I think, and 200 down. That's the pixel coordinate. That's where the object's going to be. And then we've just set the color to cyan. Uh, so what I said is what we could have did is we could have put these two lines down here, I think it should work. Right there. We'll just try that. Uh, scene. No, it doesn't like that for some reason. Uh, variable 19. Oh, sorry, you know what? We actually have to do it that way because scene.width property. It wants that scene there. Group root. Okay, yeah, I guess that's that makes sense. But I think with the change listener, after we can change it to put it at the bottom, that's why I'm thinking the change listener way is uh, a little bit better to use, a little bit easier. But we'll do that in the next code. I'll take a break and then do that after, so I'll upload it later. I still have tons of videos to upload, and I'm still studying for for some other classes so I uh, hope, hope that helps and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.